as round two of the UAAP men's basketball tournament comes to a close this weekend and as we anticipate which teams will make it to our mm -hmm. final four, well here on our official game day habit, we take care of accomplishing our fun UAAP goals together with your favorite players. And we are here at UP de Leman to do just that. Welcome to Upfront at the UAAP, ako si Janina Chan. At ako si Torst Daza and guys, to kick off the show, we'll take on a different take on offense and defense, Ooh. which is exactly what I got to do with my camera homies as we tried out this very competitive game called Archery Attack. So let's get to know these FEU rookies a little bit better. Here's RJ Ramirez, Jasper Parker, and Alex Stockton in this edition of Change Court. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be joined by three of the fastest rising stars of the FEU Tamarows. So at number two from New York City, we have Alex Stockton. At number 21, all the way from Toronto, we have RJ Ramirez. And at number three, last but not the least, we have Jasper Parker, all the way from Cali. So what's up, guys? How are you? Welcome to the show. Welcome again. What's up, Alex? What's up, man? What's going on, man? Here. Boom, let's pose just real quick for the camp. Boom. One more. One more, one more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, before we get started, I got a couple of questions for you. How's been playing, or how's your UAP experience been so far? Uh, for me, it's been good. Uh, youngest one on the team, just learning from these guys. Mm -hmm. and just gaining experience from everyone. And then, what's it like playing for FEU? Uh, playing for FEU is great, um, especially because of the history behind the program, uh, all the championships and all that. So. <clears throat> We're just trying to add on to that and uh, be great. And Jasper, I know since you're all new to the Philippines, what's it like um, moving back, moving here, and then what's the experience been like? Uh, I mean, the experience is great. Uh, the fan base here in the Philippines is, is amazing. You know, the crowds are loud, everything like that. Ball is and life here. Ball is life, pretty much. <laughs> um, but it's just a humbling experience also, being mentored by uh, one of the PBA greats. So definitely taking advantage of that here and um, just enjoying it here. It's more fun in the Philippines, right? So, yep, yeah, always. always. Gotta... Okay, so on that note, since we all know that you guys are sharpshooters on the court, we're going to see how good your guys' shooting is today, but today with a different sport called archery. And here to teach us that, we have our attack commander, hey. Mr. Ralph Lau. Hey guys, Hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. So, sir, is it true that you have train si Mbala and all the green archers? <laughs> no, not those green archers. Okay, okay. So, what kind of archery will we be doing Alright, so archery attack is a combat archery simulation. Kind of like paintball and airsoft, but much harder and much funner. Uh, because one, we'll be using foam-tipped arrows that are very safe. Two, we won't be relying on guns just to shoot for us. But now, it's all of your own skill to make each shot count. How are we gonna do this? Are we gonna be two on two? Is it three teams? Yeah, or so something? for today, we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna do some training first, uh, and then get you guys uh, oriented in how to shoot and how to play. You guys go on two on two, head to head. And then for the last round, for an extra challenge, the four of you will be going against me alone. Oh, All right, so for I'm that, to that. All right, All right I'm down. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started. Let's go get okay. some training done. Go. Okay guys, we've equipped our bows from our inventory. And Coach, what can you tell us about these bows? What are they made out of? All right, so the, the bows are made out of a special polyplastic uh, blend. Uh, they're all the way from the US. We've custom made mm -hmm. this for maximum safety and also maximum uh, excellence in performance. Uh, so one, uh, let's do some basic orientation, how to shoot and okay. handle the bow. So guys, you hold the bow uh, with your less dominant hand and you pull with your stronger hand. So you clip in your arrow into the string in between the finger savers. All right, you bring it finger in. Finger Yep, you put your finger on the bow. So when you bring it up, the arrow doesn't fall off, right? When you pull, you pull across your chest. Your elbow should be straight across, not too high. And then when you're ready, you aim. And then when you're ready, loose. Oi. <laughs> oh. Coach, I think we're ready. Guys, how's the training so far? It's good. 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 I think good. I got the hang of it. Alright, so okay. you guys ready for the two on two? Let's do it. Yes, right. let's go. Let's right, go. So, right. so uh, quick orientation of the rules. What counts the hit in archery attack? If the head of the arrow hits any part of your body, whether it's your hand, your foot, even if it just grazes, as long as the black hits, you're hit, you're out of the game. Alright? If it goes past you, the shaft that hits you, doesn't count, you're alive. If it bounces off the floor, off the bunker, off the wall before it hits you, doesn't count, you're still alive. If you use your bow to block, 
and use your arrow to catch, uh, to block. If you catch your arrow mid-air, you revive your dead teammate. Oh that's my awesome. god, that's so awesome. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Who are going against I think we're going to go with blue versus red. So. All right, blue versus red. I'm a Jasper. Ooh, so All right, so blue team on this side, red team on that ready. side. Let's go, guys. You're not ready. Alright guys, are you up for a little challenge? Yes, yeah. yeah. Alright, so the four of you will be going against me alone. And let's see if you guys learned anything today. Alright? So guys, the 4v1 challenge, our winner is Sir Ralph. Congratulations. Thanks guys, but you guys put up a great battle. You won the first level, but you can go past that. Okay, yes, we couldn't go past that. But sir, if you could please invite people, or how can they find out more about Archery or contact this place? All right guys, you can visit us at the Attack Arena here in Congressional Ave Extension uh, in QC. Or you can also look us up on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Archery Attack PH and the Attack Arena. Okay, okay. And my FD cameras, how was that experience for you guys? How was the workout? Yeah. Was that, yeah? Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> You're so <laughs> so it's the worst thing guys. But anyways, guys, could you please shout out or give a message to your teammates? What would you say to them about this archery experience? Hey, guys, definitely come out. It's a workout, uh, but a just cardio. in general, shout out to the FU team. Shout out to Doug. Shout out to Doug. <laughs> All right, um, shout out to the FU squad. You already know. FU community, keep supporting us. Uh, on the route to Final Four. So guys, watch out for the next segment of Change Court only here on Up Front at the UAAP. Woo! So cool! Oh. Nice! Ang galing mo dun, ah? Thank you. I was practicing for so long. I'm ready na ako mag-daughter. Windrunner, mga ganun. Nice! Magpapaturo na kaming lahat sa'yo. Yes, yes. Nice one. And yes, we will get to see more of these three rookies together with the rest of the SEU Tamarals later on as they charge up against the Adamson Soaring Falcons at Game 2. Yes, and when a friend of the UAP returns, guys, you'll be able to find out how you can work out without going to the gym. So, sa campus mismo, just like this one, pwede ka pa rin mag-workout before or after class. We're going to find out how with UP's own Diego Dario when we return. Welcome back to Upfront at the UAAP. And while we get to see some ballers show off their moves and just how fit they are on the court, well, you guys don't always have to go to the gym to get that tougher bod, right? That's right. You know what? Your fitness journey can start just by working out in open spaces, just like here on this beautiful campus. And we will also get to learn even more tips as our co-host, Martin Javier, joins Diego Dario of the UP Fighting Maroons together with their strength and conditioning mm -hmm. coach, Coach Madel, in this edition of UAAP Fit.
athletes are like well-oiled machines. They have to maintain a high level of fitness, so they have to do different conditioning exercises. Kaya ngayon sa edition na to ng UAP Fit, makakasama natin ang isa sa mga paborito niyong players from the UP Firing Maroons. Siyempre, to try these exercises that you can also try at home. Kaya tara, kailangan natin siya. Okay, so for this edition of UAP Fit, makakasama natin ang Spitfire Point Guard of the UP Fighting Maroons, Mr. Jago Dario! Hello, man. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, siyempre kasama rin natin ang magtuturo sa atin ngayon ng different exercises ang kanilang strength and conditioning coach, si Miss Madel Galvez. Hello, coach. Hello, good morning. Hello, coach Madel. So, ikaw muna, Jago. Yes. How is season 80 for you? Nag-aabol ulit tayo sa Final Four. Another year for UP, but... How's the season for you so far? Almost always, we're preparing uh, every day. Um, preparing hard, working hard. We got a lot of wins for the final four. Okay, gano'n ka tagal ka ba nag-extra work ikaw? Siguro How many hours a day? Mga around uh, one to two hours. One day. to two hours yeah, every day. My, um, uh, aside Ay from my daily training. Daily training session. Ikaw naman, coach. Ikaw yung strength and conditioning coach nitong team na to. How do you maintain that? You know, alam mo naman yung expectations na sa amin ni, na, ni Coach Bo. So we started off-season and then ngayon, since nag-in-season na, and then dikit-dikit yung games, di ba? So I want to make sure na aside from keeping them fit, I want to make sure na yung mga chances of injuries for every athlete is sobrang minimal lang. And turo niyo naman sa amin, give us an overview of what kind of exercises okay, are we going to so expect yung mga, today. Yung ipapakita namin exercises today, yun yung mga exercises na binibigay ko as homework for our, our athletes. Homework? If they have free time, at home do this. So you can own yan. just mga very basic uh, material lang ang gagamitin nila for injury prevention na exercises. Okay, so we're ready to do our first exercise, Coach Madel. Ano bang tawag dito sa una natin gagawin? So, yung mga exercises na una natin gagawin will be for um, injury prevention, which is, for example, in basketball, very common ang ankle sprain. So, yes. we call this exercise single leg reach. So, um, just look single. for a, 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 a pillow, okay. basta unstable surface, but not too soft, sakto lang. So, stand on with your right leg, soft knee, na ngayon, we'll do a reach. So, you point forward, controlled ah. movement. Wow. And then slowly go back to the starting position, reach to the side, and then go back to the starting position and reach back. And relax. So you do this around mga three to four reps. Yun yung question ko, coach. How does this exactly prevent ankle injuries? Because di ba in you know in basketball, maraming lateral movement. Minsan pag nag-rebound ka, pag nag-land ka, okay. hindi mo makakontrol, makakatapa ka ng mga paan ng mga ibang players. So pag hindi malakas yung, yung, yung lower leg uh, extremities mo, yung muscles mo in your lower legs, konting ganun mo lang, masakit na. Pero pag malakas yan, kahit konting uh, twist lang, if you have strong legs, You're gonna hindi, shake it off lang. Shake okay. it off. It doesn't matter. Okay, sige. If this is too easy, uh, easy, challenge. Yan, rotate. Reach far. Extend some more. And reach back. One, two, three. Nice one. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's one. Do you feel it? Yeah. Put it on the glutes. Glutes, tsaka dito. Glutes, legs, ankle. Okay rin sa coach, no? Pang balance din. Yes. Helps your balance. Okay, coach, next exercise na tayo. Okay, so next exercise, let's work on single leg pa rin. So, jego, step. Hands in front. Close your eyes, and I'm, I'm going to tap you in different direction. Okay. Pero hindi too lakas, tap lang. tap lang. So maglalagay ka lang ng konting challenge. So here we want Jego's core to activate, glutes to activate, all the muscles on the lower leg to activate. So di ba in basketball, unpredictable, bigla na lang may babangga mm -hmm. sa'yo. So hindi mo rin makokontrol yan. So kailangan your body is aware of those mga external forces na. Ito yung mga Batman training. Kahit <laughs> in your senses. Okay, next naman tayo, Coach, mga tlong exercise natin. Okay, third exercise, same pa rin. But this time, lalagyan natin ng jump. And go jump, control. And go back. Step. Other foot. And jump. So this one is more advanced na. At the same time, you're working on the landing ng player. Okay. Up, control. Balance. Not too low. There you go. Don't squat too low. Don't squat too low. And step back. Saan, Marts? Sa ba? Up and hold. Relax. Focus. That's it. 
Okay, coach, tapos na tayo sa legs. Yeah. Uh, ano yung next exercise natin? Ano yung okay, focus natin so yan? next naman, let's work on core stability. So, we'll do some core exercises for Diego. Siyempre, very, very simple na sa kanila yan. Yung mga planks. Mm -hmm. So, maglalagay tayo ng variations. Konting challenge. Para Konti lang, coach. Uh, <laughs> sige. <laughs> okay, okay so we'll start with the planking position. Feet open. So up down, six okay. We want Secret the hip six and shoulders stable. So Jego will pull and squeeze. Yan. And ah, relax. But okay. down, pull and relax. Kahit mga six to eight reps per side. So mararamdaman mo siya. Mararamdaman mo siya. So one arm plank. One arm plank with the uh, row. Ready and go. Pull. And less movement on the hip. Nice one. Heel and exhale. Nice form, coach. And nice form, ba, coach. Yeah. Perfect. Pwede na mag-try out. <laughs> Ramdam mo sa obliques. Chill, chill. Hindi ba? Chill naman. Okay, coach. Down to our last okay, exercise. Okay, so our last exercise will still be a core exercise. So, Jago will do a side plank with twist. While doing the side plank, you hold for two counts and then you twist slowly, reach for my hand at the back. Okay. So this is a good um, warm-up also. Warm if you want pre-game warm-up before you do basketball drills, activate your core. Okay, so get the balance first and slowly reach, rotate and Stop my hand and go back and balance. That's it. Good. Nice and slow. And relax. Good. Okay, okay workout done. Let's go with Good the. Good job today, Mart. Thank you. Galing, galing, galing. Thank you, Mr. Jago Dario. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Thank you very coach. much. But, Jago, what's your message for the entire UP community? Because they've been amazing this season, yeah. as always. But extra amazing this season, what's your message to them? Um, to the whole community, I just want to tell you that the fight isn't over yet. And I hope you guys keep on supporting us. We're super grateful. And UP fight. Yes, the yeah. fight isn't over. Oh, I like that. <laughs> the fight is not over yet. Okay, thank you. A bit lang. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so Thanks, much, Jago. Thanks, Marts. Good luck later in your game, thank you, and thank uh, you. sana mapanalo natin yon. Medyo mahirap yung workout natin yun, but I'm sure hope you guys learn from it, and sure hope you guys can try it at home as well. So see you guys next time for another edition of UAP Fit. Thank you so much, Diego, for sharing all those amazing fitness tips. You see, yes. it doesn't have to be complicated at all. At mukhang kaya kaya go in sa bahay. Yes, and mukhang napa-workout si Martin dun. <laughs> That's right. At mamaya, guys, in front of your TV or later after the games, you guys can try out this workout for yourself. Care of Coach Mandel, Martin, and UP's Diego Dario. At mamaya sa Game 1, guys, we'll be seeing the rest of UP as they go against and you Bulldogs. That's right, and up next, we will see Sean Mangati and Rob Manalang of Adamson University as they show us their signature baller moves, scoring Falcon style. All that and more when up front at the UAAP returns. We are nearing the end of the season, mga kapamilya, so we want to hear from you guys which two teams do you want to face off the exciting UAAP finals. First tweet is from Ann Balse. Ateneo and Adamson. Why not, diba? Nothing is impossible. Keep it positive. Let's go, Falcons! Falcons fighting! Hashtag Laban, hashtag Adamson. Sabi ni Fel, Ateneo Lasal, either eagles fly, archers cry, or arrows fly and eagles die. Rivalry never stops kasi. Go, Admu, one big fight. This tweet is from Hannah. The best rivalry, De La Salle and Ateneo. Both teams are really aggressive and they really want to get that championship. Especially Ateneo, they really have stepped up their game a lot. Agree Gen C, I am Antoinette. The best rivalry, Ateneo and La Salle, two of the best teams so far. They both have strong players and solid teamwork. Hashtag Animobia. Lastly, gusto ni Sunshine Opala makita ang FEU in the finals. Sabi niya, at FEU Manila, FEU Basketball, FEU underscore Tamaraos. Why? Just because. Thank you for sending all your answers, mga kapamilya.
inspiring on and off the court ang ating UAAP idols. Kaya naman maski sa social media, nakaabang sa mga positive quotes and tweets ang mga fans. And here are the best of those inspiring messages from your idols. From Nilana, na-inspire siya sa tweet ni June Espleta of Adamson. Anything in life worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation is for cowards. Ito naman ang ni Lucky Shina from Javi Gomez Taliano. At Javi GDL22, if opportunity doesn't knock, build the door. Next is from Jade who liked Juan Gomez Taliano's tweet. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Si Hannah liked this tweet from FEU's Joe Trinidad. What I aspire to become will always be greater than what I aspire to get. Welcome back to Upfront at the UAAP. Now the Falcons have soared to number three at the rankings. Yes. Very impressive. And two players who have been a key to the team's success and improvement this season are Rob Manalang and Sean Manganti. Yes, and this time the forward and the guard are beginning to be showing us some of their baller moves. Sean Manganti with his windmill crossover a la former Sir Addison player. Jericho Cruz, while Rob Manalang, the team captain, will be showing us his signature running floater that gets those crucial points. Hi, I'm Rob Manalang, point guard for the Adamson Soren Falcons. And I'm Sean Manganti, small forward for the Adamson Soren Falcons. And this is Baller Moves. My first year, I had a lot of responsibility already. I was a team captain and a starting point guard. So I learned a lot during that year, and this year I'm trying to just build on that momentum and hopefully do better than last year. Uh, same thing, really. Uh, just uh, really let the game come to me. Uh, really just be more of a leader out on the court and off the court. Uh, be more vocal and just do the little things that could make us win. Drop pass. Uh, Jericho Cruz, you know, is a former Adamson player, and uh, from what I know, he grew up in Guam, so he's like a foreign player as well, just like me. So I looked up his moves, and you know, he does the crossover windmill, and I try to do that in the game also. I am a small forward slash power forward. Um, I'm I'm a slasher, and I just like to drive to the basket and finish on top of the room. Full speed to the basket, only two steps, and you gotta control the ball because a lot of times players do this and they lose the ball. It makes it easier to get to the basket because then I'm blowing by a defender, getting my by my defender, and uh, after I do this, I'm already at the basket, ready for a layup. It's hard to defend because, you know, the ball is going up here, so they're gonna have to reach up. It's either a foul or you, you get, get by them for a layup. Great job by Manalang to get away from his defender and not set things to just set up the offense. Yeah, me being a point guard, I have to have a lot of moves in transition and just a lot of moves in general to be able to score out there. So I'm not the tallest player. So in transition, I like to be able to get by and just try to use my speed to get to the basket. And when there are taller defenders near the basket, I try to slow down and throw a floater and they can't reach it, so it's an effective way for me to score. I just try to get it in transition and try to use my speed to get to the basket. And then once I start to slow down, I try to measure how far the big guys are. And by then, I try to slow down and just focus on the rim the whole time and just use my touch. Uh, I think to get good at the floater, you really have to practice it because it's more about touch. 
So it, it's more about, yeah, just getting your reps up and make sure you always practice that move. Uh, to the Adamson community, I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, we can't get anywhere this season without you guys and your support. And uh, it never goes unnoticed, your love and support for us. So just a big thank you to them. Uh, I just want to uh, thank you, send a big thanks to the Adamson community for accepting us Cali kids, you know, uh, embracing us as one of your own. So thank you. I hope you guys like the moves we taught you today. That's the next edition of Baller Moves. Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> I've been working on mine then. Here. Wow. Right, left, boom. Right, left, boom. Smooth, smooth, smooth like butter. Right, left. Yes. So good luck to all the teams that are playing later. Malapit ng mabuo. Final four. So let's get ready for more twists and turns in the last matches of round two. But guys, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram for more updates on our upcoming features. That's right. And we had so much fun here at UP Diliman. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. At bukos and dito rin si Martin and Ange to bring us all our signature upfront experience right before the Arch Rivals. Ateneo and Telosol battle it out against each other at the final game of round two. Very exciting. So tune in again tomorrow at a special time slot. That's 3 p.m. This is our official game day habit. Up front at, at the UAAP. UAAP.